One week before he hands over the keys to his office, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan is bidding farewell, giving his final address today at the State House. Yeah, eight years later, Fox uh, 5's Tom Fitzgerald there tonight. And Fitz, uh, there's been a lot of talk that Hogan actually may be making a run for the White House. Did we hear any of that tonight? Yeah, there sure has been a lot of talk. You know, Governor Larry Hogan was a guest on Fox 5's On the Hill New Year's Day, in which he said that he's been getting a lot of people coming up to him, urging him to run for president. Now, Hogan says that as a Republican governor in a Democratic state, he has a long record of bipartisanship. But in the meantime, he says he has been doing some things like fundraising and also starting a new political action committee. Now, he says any decision about running for president will come after he leaves office next Wednesday. However, in the meantime tonight, this farewell address could have provided some keys into a possible theme of a Hogan campaign, number one being national unity and what he says is the concerns about the state and the country. America truly is at a critical turning point, one in which the very fate of our democracy could be at stake. All of the performative politics and the angry false rhetoric threaten not just to divide us politically, but to tear our country apart. Toxic pile. Well, as you know, Maryland governors are limited to just two terms. Governor-elect Wes Moore, the Democrat, will be inaugurated right here next Wednesday. Well, Fitz, if Hogan does in fact decide to run for president, isn't it true that he'd be far from the only Republican in the race in 2024? Yeah. Yeah, certainly, Rob. And, you know, you wouldn't have to even look too far. Across the river in the Commonwealth, Virginia, Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin has been widely mentioned as a possible gubernatorial candidate. Now, when we asked Governor Youngkin directly about this, he told Fox 5 that he has heard this as well, but he claims right now he has what he says is the best job being governor of Virginia. However, you know, Hogan would not be alone, certainly if he decided to run already for President Donald Trump has announced as a candidate and others like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis have been heavily mentioned as possible candidates as well. We have to see if uh, Mike Pence job jumps into that as well. So it's going to be a big uh, group. Uh, so thank you. That brings us to our Fox 5 Live Invincible question. How would you rate Maryland Governor Larry Hogan's time in office so far? The overall consensus has been a four. I hope this is at a five. Uh, you can weigh in, uh, scan the QR code at the top of your screen uh, or go to our website, fox5dc.com, or vote in our Fox